Okay, so um, here's the reason why I took um a long on AUDSD. Um, let me just go to the bar replay, and um, this is where the price was, like somewhere like around there when I was looking at my AUDSD, right? So um, let's do a TA from scratch. By the the blue dotted line is where I took my long, so I'm just gonna leave it there, right? But um, what do we see right now? Okay, throughout this entire down move, we see a series of lower lows and lower highs, right? So if we were to draw a trend line or a channel or whatever, like let's try and draw a channel right something like that or whatever yeah um i never take my entries because of trend lines i don't believe in trend lines but i just like use them to find the trend right but um this is what we see right we see a high a lower high and um lower highs like throughout this entire channel and um lower lows as well right throughout this entire channel and then what happened next we broke out of the uh, out of the channel and we saw a higher high so let's like mark everything right i'm gonna get rid of that so this was the last swing high and then this was the last swing low but what happened next we broke out of the trend line or the channel and then we saw a, a higher high compared to the previous high right and now what do you want to look for potentially a higher low we don't know where the higher higher low can be it can be here it can be here like wherever it, it can be right so that was my step one identifying the trend right um let me write that down step one um identify the trend so on the short term i'm not claiming that we're going to go back to the highs on the short term we saw a, a break of the trend right so um, my trend now is along right so the next thing i want to do is i'm looking for my supply and demand zones you can like read about it um here smart money so i'm um, going to this website and um, you can read about it right so um the next thing i want to do is like find my supply and demand zone closest to where the price is right so my supply zone is probably around here. Why is that my supply zone? Because price accumulated a distributor right here and then broke out in a force, right? It broke out in a force because the supply was higher than the demand, right? But then what happened next before we saw this higher high? This was the last sell-off, right? This entire candle. So I want to look for my demand somewhere in that candle. Like this candle is extremely big. So I don't want to like just like blindly take an order like anywhere inside this candle and hope for it to go up, right? So I'm going to narrow this candle down into lower time frames, right? Okay. So um, let's go to the hourly. So I start from the daily to the 4 hour to the hourly. And then if I don't find anything, probably to the 15 minutes as well, right? So now what, what do we see? That entire candle can now be narrowed down into two or even one candle, right? This was the last sell-off before the move up. Let's go to the 15 minute now, right? And um, what do we see happen inside the last sell-off? Where is it? Um, oh yeah, there it is, okay? So what do you see happen in the last sell-off, right? Um, we see some sort of demand being created, right? So that there was a drop and then a base and then a rally. So my base can, is considered like I consider like all the candles as my base right so from this one here to like the bottom of the candle close right so um this is my base and then a rally what do we see after a rally we never saw the price come back to retest it so what happens in a demand zone right um the price accumulated broke out of the demand zone and never came back to retest it so now when the price comes back to retest this zone we can assume there's still orders sitting down there right so let's see, let's look for reasons why the price will actually come down there, right? So basically my entry will be somewhere in the black box, but when I saw the price, it was this blue line here, right? And my stop loss will be just under the candle closes, right? So usually it can be this much, but this was like really tight. I wanted to give it some room. So I think it was like right under the wick, just something like that, right? So that was my stop loss, right? So the black dotted line is my stop loss and um, the blue dotted line is where I took my entry. So now let's go back to the hourly. So we, we have identified our demands on here, right? Let's go to the hourly and look for reasons as to why the price could come down there. Okay, look at this. Right now, this is what I see first, right? We see a series of, um, 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 we see a series of um, equal highs, right? And we see a series of um, equal lows as well, right? Probably something like this. So what do we assume when we see equal highs and equal lows? We can know there's tons of orders sitting up here, right? Above and below these zones. Why are the orders? Because people are shorting here, so the stop losses will be up there. Or people who want to long have their buy stops here, right? So there's orders sitting like throughout this move up here. And then we have orders sitting down there, right? So the closest demand 
to where my order so to like all of these equal lows like i i know the price is going to break this equal lows or break this equal highs and then reverse potentially right so where's my closes this is my supply zone so this is where i want to see price have some sort of reaction and i'm this is my demand zone where i want to see price have some sort of reaction as well right it was yeah i probably messed this up but something like that i think it was like um something like this right so I want to see price break the equal highs or equal lows and then tap my supplier demand and reverse back in force, right? Like, um, yeah, so let's let's see what happened next, right? Um, I'm on the bar lip, uh, replace. Um, I'm just going to like close this and I'm see where pri what price did. Look at this. So it came down to our demand zone and reversed back like with force, right? So if we were to look at Wyckoff, we see um, equal lows. We see a spring, so a break of that, and then we see a test which gets back into the range. So anyway, like just basic supply and demand, identify your supply. So the first thing was identify the trend. Second thing was identify supply and demand zone. And then third thing was find equal lows, equal highs, giving you a reason as to why the price would go to the supply or demand zone. And I'm um, take orders there. So look at this, right? This was my um uh, position. So along right there, right? Stop loss right there which is like a seven pip stop loss. I know I call it a 10, plus, a 10 pip stop loss, but a seven pip stop loss. And my target somewhere next to where I look for my next sell off. So this is like a 19 or 20 RR trade. And right now we're already at some probably 10 RR. We're halfway there already, right? So um, yeah, that's it for my video.